Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be absolutely delicious because I've been craving a California burrito for about a month now. And instead of going to buy one, I figured I'm just going to make one. And I'm going to show you guys how I did it. So get ready. We're making California burritos today. Cheers. We're gonna start by making the french fries for our California burrito. Grub your potato and cut out your fries. I'm gonna be using this french fry cutter. You can find a link to this in the description below. Potato in. Done. All your fries are the same length, thickness, all of that. Now we're gonna submerge the fries in some ice water for an hour. Let these sit for one hour. While the french fries are chilling in some water, we're gonna prep our skirt steak. I got this Australian Wagyu outside skirt steak from the meadery in San Diego. High quality stuff. So this skirt steak is actually pretty long, so I'm gonna cut it into sections to make it easier to work with on the grill. Normally when I'm making carne asada, I would marinate it, but today we're just gonna season it and get it on the grill. We're gonna start with a little bit of salt. Spanglish asadero all-purpose seasoning. And a little chile verde. So the fries are sitting in some ice cold water and our meat is seasoned. Let's go fire up this grill. It's time to make the guacamole. We're gonna dice up aroma tomato. We're gonna dice up about a quarter of this red onion. Minced garlic. And I know some people are gonna say you need a molcajete, but I don't have one. So we're just gonna use what we have. Oh, this one went to Harvard. The juice of one lime. A little chicken bouillon, and mash. We're gonna add about a quarter cup of chopped cilantro. To keep your guacamole from turning brown, the lime is already gonna do that for you, but we're gonna add a second layer of protection and put some plastic over the top. So when we put it in the fridge, it doesn't start to oxidize. The meat is resting, so we're gonna drain this water and we're gonna start making our french fries. We wanna get these potatoes nice and dry. I'm gonna hit these fries with a little bit of cornstarch just to give it a little extra crunch. We're gonna do the first fry at 325 for five minutes, then increase the temperature to 375 and go two to three more minutes. So now we're gonna warm up the tortilla. It's gonna make it easier to work with. And we're gonna melt the cheese. Start with the tortilla. Tortilla in. I'll tell you, I'm hungry and this food is ready, so it's time to just dive into it and eat. My favorite part of the video. When I lived in San Diego, I would get California burritos probably two or three times a week. It was that or it was gonna be the rolled tacos and I absolutely loved them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
God damn. Mm. Right off the bat, fresh jalapeno, it's the way to go. Mm, this burrito is insane. A little pineapple hot sauce. Mm. You ever cook something that just made you so damn happy? Yeah, this is it. So good. Well, it's time for me to go finish this burrito. So remember, if you like this content, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, share it with a friend, leave me a comment, and don't you dare forget to subscribe. I'm gonna go finish this burrito. Cheers.